So, ladies and gentlemen, we continue the action here at the fantastic O2 Academy, live from Bournemouth. We have three two-minute rounds of K1 rules in the amateur 70 kilogram division. The introducing first fighting out of the white corner, representing Mad Academy, Alfie Godke. Good and facing him across the ring in the black corner, he represents the Ippon Gym. Please welcome Fabio Furlong. Once again, this contest is scheduled for three two-minute rounds of K1 rules in the amateur 70 kilogram division. Your referee in charge with the bell rings, Scott Robinson. Yippon Jim representing on the combat fight series stage here. And it's Fabian Furlong in the grey shorts here against another competitor from the Matt Academy who has represented really, really well on this show today, Alfie Godkin. Big clean kick there. Lovely boxing on the body and head there. Show put together by Rory Crawford and Sean Toomey here on the south coast. About number nine on the card here. Catches the kick. It's Ippon Jim and the Matt Academy corner to corner. Right kick from the southpaw. A little bit of height on his opponent. He's doing well to stay in the pocket, he's a uh, god king. Trading well, punches and kicks, bouncing off his gloves here, but he keeps them pinned to his head. Double jab, left cross, switches stance for a second, lets that left kick go up high and the right kick, answered with a big low kick from Godkin who keeps his hands pinned to his head. First furlong, furlong.
Well, the last fight was about discovering how to deal with a certain style of fighting. Let's see if Godkin can do the same thing. But he's range, high kicks at the moment, and long, long punches from Furlong. It's okay being taller than your opponent, but you need to know how to use it and have the skills to fight at range to make it effective. And you are watching that so far from the Ippon fighter Furlong. The kicks are strong to the head. The guard's very good of Godkin though. And it needs to be. So if those gloves leave his head for a second, he's in trouble. Keeping him on the end of that left hand, controlling him all the time, and the kick goes up high. Referee stops him moving too far once he's caught that leg. Don't forget two steps is the travel you can take. One step and strike. Trying to control his head to fire the knee. Amateur K1 rules kickboxing about this. And will be competing over the three two minute rounds. Just six minutes of action for these guys. Nice left knee executed there. And he's always on the end of the punches. For me, Godkin, he needs to move his head. And as Muay Thai starts to evolve into four ounce gloves and all sorts of different things across the world, new skill sets have to be found by these fighters. They've got to move their head when they're getting punched. There's a control to it so far for me though, from Furlong. Roll him with that left jab a lot to find his range. High kicks are plenty. Round number three. Dobkins looks after himself well in there. This is the third round. And now it's time to turn up. Dobkins trying to fire on that leg. combinations from the Ippon fighter. He's travelling with him all the time, trying to match him. Doesn't look confident in his punching though. Just shows his hands out. He needs to really put his hips through the shots. Or he's just not going to stop the momentum here. Right hand over the top, doesn't stop him. Furlong throwing knees, but gets himself out of trouble. Godkin moves out of that corner, doesn't get pinned down in there. In fact, Godkin hasn't been pinned down at all in this fight in the corners. He does move off when he needs to. Now he's pinned back at the ropes, as I say it. And that's a knee executed. He'll travel his way back to the center of the ring. He just seems to be on the end of Furlong's punches here. Well competed here though. Hasn't taken too much damage at all though, Godkin. Has looked after himself well, like I said. Just ends this fight with long punches, long knees. High kicks. forward momentum all the time from Furlong and I think he'll just see the fight through like this right hand over the top for one second but not a heavy executioner of his shots here Godkin and he's gonna have to put everything through his shots and really mean them to stop people like this 
but judges will decide of course and we wait for their verdict here don't forget hitman fight league versus combat fight series in april and then july we have combat fight series at the famous York Hall Bethnal Green. Fantastic card for that as well. Two massive shows that you cannot miss. Thirteenth of April, Hitman Fight League and Combat Fight Series. Here we go with the ISK officials result of Alfie Godkin and Fabian Furlong here. Well, ladies this is and amateur gentlemen, K1 after contest. three terrific rounds of K1 action, we go to the ringside judges for the average to unanimous decision. Let's hear it for your winner in the black corner, Fabio Furlong. Rangy, long fighter. And your terrific runner-up, Alfie Godkin. He controlled this fight all the way for me. Unanimous decision. Found that hard there. Hard Ladies down and the gentlemen, office Alfie Godkin. Shortly, we'll be auctioning off a fantastic piece of memorabilia of Floyd Money Mayweather. Signed glove for the reserve starts at £250. But three winning rounds of action for Fabian Furlong.